Hey Jaron, uh, this is a quick demo video for you for your uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi from 89 Sabres. I just finished this up this morning. So I know there's a lot going on in the background. My wife and I uh, share an office and that is her side of the office. So it always looks crazy over there. Nobody get, ever gets to see the cool side. But if you can ignore all that for a minute, here is your Sabre. So you got a NeoPixel setup. So you got your pin connector right here. Um, you have a blade retention screw right here, and this stays loose. I mean, that's just part of the um, it's part of the model of this saber. Um, in the past, what I've done is for certain people, I I'll, can you can back this all the way out, put a drop of super glue or something right there on the threads, and then screw it back into place, let it sit for a little bit, and it will lock in. But if you don't do that, uh, this is exactly what the original prop uh, was like. So that's why you got that loose uh, give right there. All right. Um, I set up, this is a two button setup. So I set up your front button here. That's going to be your activation button. And then this button down here, that's your auxiliary. And your speaker sits right in the middle here. Um, I happen to have another one of these chassis because I'm sending them, I sent, I'm sending this out this morning, but this is what your chassis looks like on the inside. So there's your where your 28 millimeter base speaker would sit. That's where your board sits over here and then your battery compartment. But it all sits in there about like right here. So your sound venting actually comes out of these two holes in this slot right here. And if you look carefully in there, you can just see the um, silver dome of your speaker. So we'll open this up. You open it up from these both unscrew, but to get a, a battery in and out, what you're going to want to do is just unscrew this piece right here. And here is your chassis. So of course, no speaker back here like you normally would. Uh, you have just a little bit of indentation right here. It's not indentation, just scratches from um, the screw on the inside of this guy. Um, this lightsaber is very difficult to make a removable battery unless you nail down this distance right here because the battery has to go in here a little bit but just enough to where you could still pop it in and out so i'll show you got a battery right here so this is the kind of battery that it takes and then when i see it when i when i put it right here you see how it needs to sit in there a little bit so that distance has to be nailed, but in order to do that, it is going to ride up against that screw just a little bit when you tighten everything up, but that's no big deal. Uh, your spring right here, that's your negative side. So you'll never want to put this battery in backwards. That is your negative side of your battery. That's your positive. So your negative side, always towards the spring. I'm going to throw a battery in here right now. Name I've not heard in a long time. And we'll put that battery in. It's a very snug fit, nice and tight. Put this on. Activation. Of course, you can't tell from the video, but all your sound is right here, right? Smooth swing. Flash on clutch. Tap for blast or default. And hold it for blade lockup. So lost. I am lost. I have a test blade right here. I'm going to put into this guy for you so that you can see everything works. This takes a one inch diameter blade. So when you go to order your NeoPixel blade, just make sure you get a, a one inch diameter. So you want to put it down on there. Make sure it's snug on those pins. Tighten down your blade uh, retention. Gentlemen, wastes are not to be traveled lightly. Activation. Like I said, tap for blaster deflex. On a full length blade, every time you tap that, you'll see randomized blaster blocks up and down this blade. But because this is a small test blade, you don't see it too often. And then hold down for blade lockup. And while it's on, if you want to change color, hold down the auxiliary and twist your wrist. Just like that. Now every time you can actually twist the hilt like this 
And every time you hear a click, it's a different color. And we'll cycle back to a green. When you find one you like, just tap a tap a button. Just like that. And then survive as long as I have by being foolish or unprepared. When you turn it off and back on, it's gonna remember that blade color. I gave you about 22 different blade effects on this guy. To get to the blade effects while the blade is on, hold down the auxiliary and twist your wrist like you did to change color, but then keep the button held down until you hear this. Now let go. Now every time you click it again, ever or you can you, you twist like this, right? But every time you hear a click, it's a different blade effect. Some are subtle, and some are are pretty pronounced. So I'm just gonna click through a few of these. You got unstable, flickering. Uh, there's a fire one on here. Different variations of a solid blade. Here's a rainbow blade. I'll just leave that on there so you can see it cycling through colors, right? But when you find one that you like, tap the button. And then it will remember that color and that blade effect when you turn it back on. I'm lost. There it is right there. So we'll turn that off. Now to get to your sound fonts. Kenobi. Kenobi. I, uh, I loaded the sound fonts that you that you had purchased on here for you. So to get to those, hold down the auxiliary when the uh, saber is off until you hear this. Sound bank selection. Now you can cycle up or down with either button. Exit menu, system SD audio. I gave you my Britney font on here, but I'll let you play that by yourself. When you find one you like, hold the button down. The Jedi was sighted entering the lower city. Then it's just as our Lord predicted. And that is your saber, sir. So one more thing I'll say because of this battery is so tight in here. Um, when getting it out. If you have a thick guitar pick, that's probably the best. Um, I've got a pair of tweezers here that have a little coating on them. So I wouldn't say, you know, if you're going to use something like this, be very careful. You don't want that bare metal touching that positive uh, battery terminal. I just happen to do this a lot, so I'm comfortable using these. But if you have a hard piece of plastic, you might going to want to have it to get right here and push on the end of that battery so it will pop out on you because that is, um, I made this an extremely... Um, tight fit but other than that there's your saber hope it turned out the way you like and um, I'll actually be personally dropping this off for you because uh, you know you're in Boise too thanks